Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's The Kellys. I have a little bit of a shocking luggage review for you today because not only am I reviewing a soft carry-on luggage for the first time, but I am reviewing CalPAC luggage. And some of you know and some of you don't. I've never really like formally announced my thing with CalPAC. I've, I've just kind of said it in comments and DMs. When Brian and I were on our honeymoon, I had my CalPAC carry-on at the time and it completely broke and I was really upset. Like the wheel broke and the zipper was busting and just all of this stuff. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, never again. That suitcase was actually the whole reason why I started doing luggage reviews in the first place. But over Memorial Day weekend, they were having a sale and I saw a soft piece of luggage and I was DMing with one of our subscribers back and forth about it and we talked each other into it and we both ended up buying it. Enough of you guys have messaged me about CalPAC that I really wanted to give them another chance. I don't know what the excuse was about the bag, but we're gonna try soft luggage today. And disclaimer, I did buy this luggage myself. Look at this wall of free luggage that I get, you guys. Like, I, I don't really need any luggage at all, but that's how badly I wanted to try this. I don't have a discount code or anything like that. So I'm just a, just a girl that needs some luggage today. So today we are going to unbox the luggage, measure it for you as always, and then we are going to look at the outside and the inside and all of the features. And then of course, I'm going to pack it for you like we always do so that we can see exactly what it fits. And if you're new here, I travel often and pack well and want to help you do the same. I am headed to my 88th country very soon and I've been to all seven continents and I did it all in a carry-on bag. Please subscribe, comment down below, and follow us on Instagram for even more content. Here it is. And it does say on the box, travel looks good on you. I know it does. All right, I think she's cute, you guys. This is the chocolate color. This bag comes in a lot of different neutral colors, and I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted. When it came to soft luggage, I didn't want something super light that would probably get dirty. So the reason that I ultimately bought this is because of the size. It is a little bit smaller than your typical carry-on bag. I have a lot of trips coming up in 2024 where I'm going to need smaller luggage. I'm gonna use it on my next trip for sure. I leave in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be packing this in a video to show you guys and of course traveling with it and giving you updates along the way at least on Instagram and through some shorts. All right, so let's go ahead and measure it. That's the first thing that we do. So this one, including wheels and handles, yeah, is about 21.5. The actual like body body portion of it is only 19. As for the depth, then of course there's an outside pocket so we can measure it again once we pack it is about eight and a half. And then the actual width of it is 13 and a half plus this handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 14. It does say that it is 6.6 .6 pounds. And with it empty, it does say 6.52. So that's great. There are a lot of airlines that go by weight. So this isn't the lightest bag in the world, but it's certainly lighter than a lot of different hard shell carry-ons. And the website says that it holds 41 liters. All right, so let's take a little tour of the outside. This is made out of polyester, and this is, you know, it's got that trendy, puffy kind of aesthetic to it, which people either love or they hate. I think it's pretty cute, honestly. There's a lot of soft shell bags that I think are super ugly, and I don't know. There's something about this one that I love and I'm really loving neutral colors lately as well. So first I notice this outer pocket right in through here. That's really kind of the beauty of soft luggage, right? Is that you can have this pocket and it's soft to fit stuff as opposed to the harder luggage with the outside pockets. It's a lot harder to put stuff in. However, if this is going to be really, really full, then it could 
puff out a little bit more and then potentially be a little bit too deep for airlines. I'm not too worried about it because I'm not gonna stuff it with a bunch of stuff, but do keep that in mind. There are, of course, TSA locks like any other bag. You can set your own code. And there is this special extra little pocket here, which I think is cool that, you know, can't really hold that much, but can definitely hold a cell phone and a passport. Weirdly enough, it was this pocket kind of that sold me. I just think it's a cool little feature. There is a handle right here and a handle on top. They are padded, which is kind of nice. In the back, we do have a handle with a button on top. Not the sturdiest handle that I have in this room full of luggage, but we'll see how it goes when I use it on my trip. And then of course there are spinner wheels. Gotta have spinner wheels these days, guys. I don't know how anyone does it with two. Okay, so let me show you this other outer pocket here. And we've talked about pro bags on this channel before. I initially said I'm not that big of a fan of them, which is true, I'm not. Personally, if I'm going to travel with my laptop, I'm going to travel with it in my personal item and not in my luggage, just in case they gate check your bag. This is a pro bag because it has this pocket. Now I've showed you a couple of other pro bags on this channel and they're fine, but because this is soft luggage, it's more flexible. So I'm a little bit more intrigued by this pocket than I have been with any other pocket that I've showed you. You've got this little Velcro strap. It can fit up to a 17 inch laptop and there's still another shallow little pocket in front of the padded laptop sleeve. And then on this side, you do have just a little mesh zippered pocket. And then you do have two little elastic slip pockets. Okay, so now we will open the inside. And this is kind of the number one reason why I, I don't like soft shell bags usually is because it opens like this where you just throw everything on top. I personally prefer bags that open evenly on both sides. That's probably just my packing OCD. Right here, you've got this little CalPAC logo right here and you have two mesh little slip pockets. I think maybe those would be good maybe for flip flops or something because there's there's no zipper, you know? We're really used to an entire side being zippered um, and this one's just a slip pocket. So we'll see what we can fit in there at the end of the video. As for this side, there are some compression straps. Of course, there are spots on the bottom where the handles go. That's totally normal for most suitcases. And right here, we have this other little mesh pocket to be able to put some stuff. I never really utilize the mesh pockets like this, but I guess I could. I don't know what I would put in it. Let's measure the actual depth of the inside because we measured the outside of the bag, but let's see really how much room we have in here. The actual depth all the way up to the zipper is exactly eight inches. So maybe about seven and a half when it comes to packing. And then the actual width of it to pack is about 13. And the actual packing space is about 17 inches long. Now on every luggage review, we always do a shoe test with one of my husband's shoes because we usually do hard luggage where it's even on both sides. And I don't like bags that can't fit one of his shoes on one of the sides. Obviously one of his shoes is going to fit in here. So we're not technically gonna do the shoe test, but we will pack it with his shoes anyway, just to go ahead and show you. All right, so I got some stuff. I'm not sure if I got enough or not, but this is stuff that I usually put in a carry-on and this stuff has to fit. So this is what I'll do first and then if we need more, we'll find some more. We will start with Brian's shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Obviously they're gonna fit. And then the next biggest thing is going to be my medium size packing cube. And if you guys are new here, everything I bring clothing wise fits in one medium size packing cube. That is kind of my rule. So as of right now, you know, a couple inches left, a couple inches left. I'm going to have a toiletries bag that is 100% full. And I'm going to have a mini packing cube because that's with like bras, underwear, and bathing suits. 
So those can go on here and it's kind of going up above, but that's what we have the compression straps for. And we still have a little bit of room left up over the shoes. Now let's put some shoes in these right here. And I do wear a size 11 shoe. All right, and then I still need some more stuff to fit in here. So I will be packing a purse and we can go ahead and throw that in there. All right, so let's use the compression straps. And this part is not expandable, you guys, just so you know. So let's zip that up and then we're gonna fill the outside pocket because I'm always really curious with outside pockets how much it juts out and then therefore gives you a couple more inches of depth, which then could make the bag too big. So of course we can put my 13 inch. It is a pretty snug fit and I think it's also because I have shoes packed on the other side. Um, a lot of pro bags I can fit my MacBook and my iPad but this is pretty full if you can see. We'll put some sunglasses in the little slip pocket and we will put the wallet in this little slip pocket and see if it closes. Yeah, it can definitely close, but it's getting a little bit too wide here. Before we measure the outside again, let's put my passport in this little cute pocket that I love so much and it's fully packed. So right now that it's fully packed because everything I just showed you, I want to weigh it again real quick. And it weighs exactly seven kilograms right now with everything packed, which is the weight limit on very stingy airlines. So I'm pretty impressed, even though it's 6.5 pounds, fully packed, still pretty good. Now for the true test, let's measure the real depth now that we have it fully packed. The real depth now is a whopping 10. So I don't know what to think about that. I will be doing a packing video with this very soon where I pack all of my stuff for French Polynesia. So I'm really excited to travel with this and I will be giving live updates along the way if you follow us on Instagram. Anytime I'm traveling, not only do I show you where I am, but I also kind of show you as I'm going through airports and using my luggage and everything like that. So do make sure that you follow us on there. It's a lot easier to update several times a day on Instagram than it is on YouTube because YouTube doesn't have a lot of those features. So if you want live updates, check us out there. Otherwise, I will be doing an unpacking video once I return in July and I will talk about how this bag performed in that video. Let me know if you guys are interested in this bag. Let's talk about soft shell versus hard shell down in the comments. I've only really reviewed hard luggage on this channel and I know we've talked about that a lot, so let's discuss soft ones. And the most important question is, do I need the backpack? I think I might. Or the duffel, or both. Calpac, please sponsor me because I can't afford all this stuff. Ah! All right, guys, hope you're subscribed to this channel. I will see you next time when I pack this bag.